Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with Lali to look at day five of the best of Japan cruise on the new cruise ship Royal Caribbean Spectrum of the Seas. Uh, we spent the last couple days in Japan. We've been to Osaka and to Kobe and today we're going to Yokohama and from Yokohama we'll be taking transportation to Tokyo. And so we are currently cruising. Uh, it is about uh, 10 a.m. here. I jumped on earlier, did a little bit of a live stream when we were just out in the Pacific Ocean making our way from uh, Kobe, Osaka to Yokohama. Uh, make sure you check out that live stream. I shot just a lot of video off the balcony, real peaceful, real serene, answered a lot of cruise questions. I'll leave a link to that. But now we're about a half an hour from making port at Yokohama. And uh, I'm just uh, here in the cabin uh, doing the normal thing that you do in the morning, getting all your footage from yesterday kind of caught up. I've grabbed a little breakfast and just relaxing. Our excursion has to meet at 12.30, so about two hours until we go out to the excursion. But I just want to jump on, say good morning, and let you know what was going on, and uh, get ready for a day where we go to Tokyo. Uh, it's pretty cool, very, very serene. I'll give you another look here. Getting close. Catch up with you in a bit. Eleven thirty-nine, just approaching Yokohama. Uh, we're set to be able to get off the ship about one p.m. Supposed to meet for our excursion at twelve thirty. I just snuck down to the Leaf and Bean, got a little coffee, getting charged up for the day. So fairly soon, we'll be getting off the ship and making our way to Tokyo. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Or afternoon, I guess. I guess. Uh, Konnichiwa. about 109. We met in that same music hall that we've been meeting at. We just went through Japanese immigration and now we're on bus 27. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's more than an hour to drive from Yokohama to Tokyo. So uh, should get to see some of the, uh, well at least, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First stop is the Imperial Palace. We'll be walking to the palace gate past a traditional shogun statue. Samurai statue.
it's a big part. What do you think? <laughs> it's pretty amazing, right? So these are black pine trees? Yeah. The other host, host called them just Japanese pine. Japanese pine. So another kind of interesting area. We are in the middle of a huge city of, what, 9 million people. And uh, it's a huge garden. Yeah. Are they going to let us go across if she wants us to stop? We're going. We're going. We're breaking it. We're making a break for it. <laughs> So we're making our way to the gate of the Imperial Palace. We won't actually be able to go into the Imperial Palace. Uh, they only open the gate twice a year, but this year is a special year because a new emperor was born, and so on October the 22nd, they will be opening the gate to the palace. But we'll be able to go to the gate and see the double bridge. But again, right in the middle of Tokyo. The capital moved here uh, 150 years ago when the system of government changed from the, uh, from the shogun feudal type system to the emperor system. And the show is beyond the first. Maybe they have some So we're here at the gate entrance for the Imperial Palace. So the gate is uh, closed, but it will open again this year because of the birth of the new emperor. So 500 yen for plain ice cream cone and 800 for gold leaf. Wow, Ooh. golden ice cream. And they have a nice bank of vending machines. Why they have it facing inward with the less room? This was, this was empty when we walked by a second ago. Oh, I like this. The gold leaf looks a little exotic. I don't think I want gold ice cream though. You want any color ice cream? No. No. I will take something from the vending machine. I want a Coke also. No Coke on the side, but there is uh, ice cream. There you go.
That's right, around every corner you can find vending machines. We just battled in that little tight alcove. And now we found a whole nother set. Don, how's the ice cream? This is good. It's not what I expected, because I expected that one. Ooh. That's the one I bought yesterday. Ice cream vending machines, drinking water. I had the orange one the other day, that was really good. But I really just want a Coke. I had this uh, Aquarius, which is a sports drink. Yeah, it tastes like Gatorade. I think that's fair. Coffee. A lot of different uh, options. What is this stuff? Milky. I wonder if there's like milk. Green tea. Coffee Boss. Orange. All right, I'm gonna get a Coke, but I want to get it in this. Uh, well, that looks smaller. Let's get the regular Coke. 160 yen. Pull out the trusty piggy, piggy bank of yen here. I think I have a 500 somewhere. Maybe there's a hundred. We'll start with a hundred. Oh, we only need 160. Hold on. There's a hundred. Won't take two at the same time, oddly enough. Ten. Vending machine game is a two-handed game, folks. That's what I'm trying to say. What are we at? 130. We're trying to get to 160. Will we have enough? 40. Oh, I think we're there. Yeah. Now the world is our oyster. Well, at least we can get a Coke. Don, do they have vending machines in Canada? They do. They Not do in the U.S. also. I don't know why I like these so much. Not near what they have. Oh, trash can. Oh, trash has been elusive. That's good. And you I, gotta, what, what kind did you get now? I got the one that I had yesterday. It's a vending machine life, you gotta love it. Vending machine. Definitely better than what we have. I agree, Don. A lot of variety. <laughs>